I was born in San Felipe, Chile, right outside Santiago. I will say about maybe 40 miles from Santiago. My mother Hilda Lolas and my father Carlos Ruiz Saldivar lived right outside Santiago in a beautiful romantic little town called San Felipe. I decided to be a, a visual artist. And the reason was because words weren't enough to express myself. Of course, I found that out a long time after I was 12 years old. So as a young boy, I will go out painting with my father's friends. They were all painters from Santiago and they came to that part of the, of the country because it was very picturesque. He told me the first steps on painting and also on writing. So uh, I was lucky to have met Pablo Neruda. He was a good friend of my father. They will come and hang out in the, in the dining room of the house till odd hours. He was using metaphors all the time with his words, and he was able to reach a lot to, to a huge audience. I, we, I have met some people traveling in South America before I got to Europe, and some, um, some of the friends that I met during that trip were from them in New Mexico. So when I first came to the United States, I went to visit them in them in New Mexico. They told me about Santa Fe being an incredible place for artists, writers. Remember walking to the plaza and seeing all the Native American people and Spanish people. And to my surprise, everybody was speaking Spanish. I was, I was just very taken by the town. I decided to stay. I was showing my work at the time with a gallery called Little Plaza Gallery, and I was showing then uh, New Mexico surrealistic landscapes. Um, and uh, yeah, I wanted to go inside myself, and I guess I was motivated by the quality of the light again, that is so ethereal and spiritual, that it got me to think from the inside out how I saw New Mexico. And it took me years to be able to paint the New Mexico landscape. It was very difficult. On my paintings, I like to do mixed media, which usually I start with water washes. Then I do pastels, charcoal, fix all of that, continue working with pastels, fix all of that and finish them with oils. I love to paint on sculptures. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun um, because you already have a three-dimensional object. Uh, the painting that you are seeing behind me is based on my emotions when I first saw the Chilean volcanoes erupting. And I was very impacted because I am from Chile and there were a lot of people that got evacuated from there. And it was a, a pretty important situation that really made me react emotionally strong enough to start doing drawings, which is how I like to consider my artwork. It's, I'm a situationalist. And my work is, is, could, could be called situationalism because I paint situations. I want to paint it how I felt when I saw that. I want to contribute to, to tell people that there's another way of looking at reality. My influences start, of course, with Impressionist painters of France, Love, Cezanne, Monet, Manet, and they all evolve into my surrealism. And then, of course, my mentors were Dali, the Kirko, and after that, of course, I like the abstract expressionist painters that, of course, they reference surrealism. Mata, of course, he's from Chile as well. Uh, Gorky, Twombly, Pollock, Basiotis. I love Picasso, one of the greatest artists of all time. Uh, 
have a party where we'll invite other artist friends. A pizza party where the artist will create a pizza that was uh, our piece, and then we were gonna eat it. And I thought the idea was extraordinary. I didn't think that this was gonna <laughs> materialize, but it did happen. And uh, you know, uh, we, we had a wonderful article on Trend Magazine about this. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so wine and good food and art is it, just so tied together. You, you just can't have one without the other. I think art is not based on fear at all. You know, I mean, if you're afraid to, to like art, then, then, you know, you're going to have a hard time understanding anything. The artist's responsibility is to, to show that there's things going on. You can't just do pretty things all the time. It's not about pretty things. It's about telling a story that depicts the time that you live uh, at that particular time in your life.